Hey guys, Natasha here. Um, I have been asked by a friend to make a video about all the things that are very irritating to me that people tell me or ask me whenever they talk to me about my illness. Um, the, the number one thing that is just I, it makes my skin crawl and I'm just like going to be completely honest with you and it's irritating is that people tell me, I've had people tell me, hey, well, you know, you should probably go back to church and you should not be doing this thing of that you don't want to believe in God. Um, type of thing anymore because if you go back to church God is going to heal you he's going to fix you he's going to help you um yeah it's irritating to me because whenever I did strongly believe in God and all this um my life was just falling apart anyway um and I'm not blaming God uh in any way shape or form I'm just saying that you know whenever I did believe strongly it didn't change anything everything is the same um, so that's not something I want to do so it's very irritating that's the number one thing that irritates me is that people try to tell me oh well if you go back to church God will heal you and I'm like okay I'll get right on that sure yeah I'll try that. We'll see. Um, and then another thing is whenever I have posted about my story because me and my husband, um, the way we met and the way we've lived our lives is very beautiful. It's a very beautiful story. Um, some of you have had the pleasure of reading it or um, had the pleasure of having me talk to you about it personally or something like that. Um, but whenever I would have it, I would tell them about the fact that I knew about the lupus. I found out um, after the fact that I was married and stuff. So um, whenever I would talk about it, I would say, I would say, whenever I'm talking about my the lupus, I would say, yeah, my lupus or my condition or whatever. And um, I got some comments. I mean, I'm not gonna say they're rude. Um, but I got comments saying, you know, um, you shouldn't claim it. You shouldn't claim and say my lupus. Well, that's irritating to me because, you know, it is mine. Like, it's not going anywhere. Um, if I choose not to claim it, that's not going to make it go away. Um, my illness will never go away. I am stuck with this thing for the rest of my life. Please believe and please trust and believe that if I could get rid of it and all I had to do was just stop saying my lupus, I would have already done that. Please understand. But um, I say it like that because it's the truth. Um, it's not going anywhere. So there's really no need to try to get me to stop saying that because I'm going to say it. Um, and then I've had people tell me that it is my fault that I have this disease. Um, yeah, I really have. I've had people to tell me, hey, well, if you would have kept going to church or you would have um, not marry James or you would have not tried to have kids this would have never happened to you and you know um, me being the kind of person I am and I'm going to be completely honest with you guys I am not always nice I am kind of bitchy um, and so I'm just looking at them like Okay, is there anything else that you want to suggest that I do differently with my life that's going to help me get rid of this thing? Because if you have something that's actually going to work and you have some...
constructive input that's going to actually help, sure, I'll listen. I'll go ahead and listen to what you're saying, but um, no, it's not my fault. Um, I was born with it, obviously. You get it from genes. Um, it's not something that I can kind of, it's not really anything I can help, now is it? So that's irritating. And then another thing is whenever people tell me, hey, is this contagious? Like, am I going to get this now because I'm hanging out with you? Or am I going to get this now because you, you know, you're around me or whatever? And I'm looking at them like, yeah, like, because that's so what I want to do. Just pass on my illness to everybody. Excuse me, but... This illness, I would not wish my life on my worst enemy. This is not something that you want. It's not something that you want to pass on to other people. And especially because of the way that I am, I'm a very kind-hearted person when it comes to helping people out and being there for people. I am not this evil person that wants everybody to be sick. So, no, I would never just hang out with people if it was contagious and first off it's not contagious it's not going to hurt you it's not going to make any of anything in your life harder if you are around me um if anything it would make my husband's life harder because he has to help me whenever i'm having a flare-up or you know something like that except that's the only person that is going to badly affect their life or my dad or somebody like that who has to deal with me whenever I have a lupus flare-up um so no it's not contagious and kindly go away like bug off like bye 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 like get out of my way um and then another thing that's really really irritating to me is when people say, okay, well, I think that you're just trying to get attention right now. And I'm like, yeah, that's exactly how I want to get attention. And I, I can, in my brain, I can make my leg swell up two times its size. I can do that myself with my brain, right? Yeah, yeah, that's, that's exactly what I'm doing because I want attention. Um... And then another thing is, well, you don't look sick. No, I don't look sick. Um, sometimes I do look sick. And if you look at pictures of me when I was a little bit younger, I was hot. Okay? You guys, like, I was, I was fine. I was a hot mama. Um, but now that I've been diagnosed and everything and I've had to take prednisone for a while I have the prednisone face <laughs> and I have all the scars from you know the stuff that you get when you have lupus you get the butterfly rash you get all that kind of stuff so I have that stuff now so yeah sometimes I do look sick but no under normal circumstances no I don't look very sick um, so it's irritating to me when people say, oh, well, you don't look sick, so you must not be sick. Well, you don't look like a moron, so you must not be a moron, but you are a moron, so whatever. Um, and then people saying that I know how you feel. Like, I'm gonna say that, you know, I appreciate when people try to make me feel better or something like that, but if you are a person that has no idea what I go through and you you don't have what I have, I mean, I understand if you're trying to relate to me in a different sense, but to say that you know how I feel when you don't have lupus, you don't have any type of illness or anything like that, it's it's irritating to me and it's like nails on a chalkboard to me um, when they say I know how you feel um you don't know how I feel I'm sorry to tell you but you don't know how I feel you don't know what it's like to wake up and 
be in pain. You don't know what it's like to deal with all this stuff. You don't know what it's like to not have friends. You don't know what it's like to um, have to decide whether you're going to go out for the night or you're going to stay in because your body hurts so bad. Your husband wants to go on a date with you, but your body is killing you, so you don't want to leave the house. So you stay inside all day and just look like a hermit crab and you stay in your little zone and you don't leave and you know it's not something that everyone will understand I mean that there's certain stuff in my life that other people will understand because they go through the same thing and by all means then you're allowed to tell me you know how I feel but if you're just telling me out of your butt that you know how I feel and you really don't it's gonna irritate me um and those are just a couple things that are just irritating to me i mean and don't get me wrong if people are telling me they know how i feel because we're talking about boys or we're talking about something that has nothing to do with my lupus then you know by all means tell me you know how i feel but if you are telling me you know how I feel when I'm telling you I am in lots of pain and I'm having a flare up and I just, you know, I'm having a hard time and you tell me, oh, yeah, I know how you feel. You do? I didn't know you had lupus. You have lupus? And they're like, no. And I'm like, okay, then you don't know how I feel. Um, so that stuff yeah it's irritating to me um it's just a lot i could go on and on um but no nah, i'm not gonna sit there and waste you guys this time but that is just serious stuff that is really irritating and you should never say to me because i'm probably going to either shut down on you walk away from you and ignore you or you know, if you catch me on the wrong day, I'm probably going to go off on you. So, you know, um, I am very grateful to have the people that I have around me. Um, and I'm very grateful to have friends and things that do care about me and will come to the store with me. Like I had two friends go to the store with me this weekend to help me get groceries for my home. Because, you know, it's very hard for me to do stuff like that when my husband is not here. So, I had friends that wanted to help me with that. And they helped me tremendously. And I am very grateful for that kind of stuff. But, um, there are certain things, certain lines that I don't feel like you should cross, um, with anyone that has this illness or anything. And there's certain lines that you shouldn't cross with anybody that has any type of illness. There's certain lines you shouldn't cross with just anyone in general. Um, but I know that different illnesses have different things that irritate them and that, you know, you shouldn't say to a person with this illness because it's not okay. And it's not like a selfish thing. It's just something that, you know, it shows that you have respect when you treat us with respect and you not you don't try to... Um, make it sound like we are just out for attention or out to get fame or whatever and no I have reached out to um, sources online because you know lupus is not really talked about very much um, it's a very unknown illness it's starting to become more I'm not sure if it's starting to become more or if that, now that I have it, I know more about it and I see stuff. Um, but it's not, it's not a really talked about illness. And so it's very important that we do talk about it and people find um, ways to vent their frustrations and things like that. And then, you know, who knows, you know. A doctor might watch what I'm saying and find some type of cure, um, which I'm going to be honest, I don't see that happening, but, you know, 
um, it could happen. So, you know, I think that it's, it's better that people do talk about it. Um, and yeah, you might think I'm rude and things like that, but you really don't have to associate with me or talk to me if you feel that way. Um, I do things the way I do them for my own personal reasons, and if people are not okay with that, then they're not okay with me. Um, and that's sad for them, because I am an awesome person, and, you know, it, sometimes it pays to know me. Um, so, anyways, um, if you guys have something going on like that, or you feel the same way, and you have lupus, or even if you don't have lupus and you just feel like people talk down to you and don't try to understand what you're going through, um, just write me and, you know, we can definitely talk about how you're feeling and, um, all that type of stuff, and if you just need, just need a friend, go ahead and talk to me, um, I'm always here, uh, message me, if you're my closest friend, call me or text me, um, I'm always gonna answer unless I am busy with something, um, so, and I, in that case, I'll call you right back, um, but thank you for watching, have a good day.